In other local news, people in Macon marched downtown to honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. There were four different marches throughout the day. Each one led hundreds to the government center for the honorary wreath laying ceremony. MLK Day is a federal holiday designated as a day of acknowledgement, but also a day of service. The Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Commission starts its year of remembrances at Rosa Parks Square. Well, we hope that the community sees that this as a true day of service, you know, a, a day of action, a day to give back as we remember the legacy of such a great man um, who was slain, you know, way before his time. And also a reminder of all the things that, um, you know, that he stood for and, and, how we can, and how we can continue his legacy. Dr. King became a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity in 1952. Well, Vineville United Methodist Church held its annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day breakfast. The time was also spent highlighting the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment. Those there were treated to a video tribute, music, and a short play. They also heard from several speakers, including NPR radio host Leah Fleming. One of the speakers was young, but is old enough to understand Dr. King's legacy. I don't cut off my love to any age, any race, any sex. If it's a female, if it's a male, if it's black, white, Chinese, it doesn't matter. The MLK Breakfast Committee has been holding this event since 1990. Georgia Power employees use the day to give back. The citizens of Georgia Power Employee Volunteer Chapter from Macon worked with Habitat for Humanity. Habitat is building a home in the Lindmore community right now, and Georgia Power employees gave a helping hand. The company says this is how they honor Dr. King. Giving back, creating legacy, making the communities better, and Georgia Power, the, the, the small way that we can do that, that's what we want to do, and that's what we want to make uh, everybody aware of, is that we want to make the communities better just simply because we're here. Now, Georgia Power says more than 14,000 Georgia Power employees have volunteered in more than 300 individual MLK Day of Service projects since 2005. Well, then one of Robbins residents also remembered Dr. King at Union Grove Baptist Church. Youth groups from various organizations showcased poems, skits, and dances. This year, community leaders expressed the importance of registering for the 2020 census. They encourage everyone to make sure they do their part, as Dr. Martin Luther King would want them to. This can impact programs such as the Head Start program, free or reduced lunches at school, SNAP benefits, Section 8 housing vouchers, and the Medicaid program. Being undercounted could greatly affect these programs. Well, the NAACP's Houston County branch has held this event for more than 50 years. And here's a look from downtown Cochrane, where the city held a parade in tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Despite the cold weather, a lot of people were there to honor Dr. King. Residents say Dr. King's message of freedom and equality is still at the forefront of why so many people attend the parade.